Hello everybody, today I'm going to be going over my top 5 um, spring slash summer blushes. Um, I tried to do a variety of drugstore and also high-end and also different finishes for you guys so that you guys have a good variety. I feel like these colors that I chose would be perfect on any type of skin tone, whether you're lighter than me or darker than me. I am in MAC and NC35 so that you guys get a little feel of the colors that I feel like works great with my skin tone, um, just in case you guys are wondering. But I definitely believe that if you're lighter than me or a darker skin tone than me, I feel like these blushes would would just be amazing on you as well. So the first one that I want to go ahead and go over is a drugstore blush, which is from Milani, and this is called Luminoso. This reminds me of the MAC Mineralized Blushes. It has a type of shimmer, shimmer in it with like some gold undertone if you can see. And obviously it is a baked blush. Most of the Milani blushes have a shimmer to them besides those two that they just came out with, which are the matte ones. But this just gives a perfect glow to your skin. When I use this, I don't use any type of highlight just because I feel like it gives me the glow that I need, which I would use it if I had like a matte blush or something. But this one just gives me the perfect amount of glow to where I don't really need even a bronzer on my cheeks. I actually have it on today and that is all that I have on. I have a little bit of contour going on, but very, very lightly. But this is all that I have on and I really love the way it plays out with especially bronze looks, orange looks as you can see I'm going for the orange look today so I felt that this blush was like a perfect combination with all of the makeup and the lipstick and um, Milani blushes range from about like six to seven dollars depending on where you get them so this is just an amazing blush very very beautiful very very smooth and creamy very very pigmented as you can see and the swatch of that looks like this. Next one is NYX one. This is a product that I've had for a while. This was my first blush that I got venturing out into the blush world. So this was a little corporate behind all of the madness that I have going on. But uh, it is a beautiful color. I love it so much. It is a matte finish and is an orange toned blush. So it's kind of like Luminoso but just without the glow. So you definitely want to put like a, high, a highlight if that's something that you want to do if you want that glow. This is just a flat matte blush, orange tone blush, just goes perfect on every skin tone. Oh my gosh, it is amazing. And for a drugstore, this is, I mean, for anything, this is so pigmented, so smooth. I mean, it is just a dream to work with. It might scare you a little bit on my skin, but swatched out, blended out, and with the right, makeup and everything like that I feel like any blush is really um workable or whatever but I mean as you can see it blends out amazing and just on your skin tone I feel like this would be amazing on a deeper skin tone than me I love the way it looks on me but I feel like a deeper skin tone it would just be more amazing so that is Cinnamon by NYX. We're going to go ahead and jump into Benefit. So this is Dallas. This is a blush that has been around forever. I haven't had it too long, maybe about six or seven months. I use it like crazy. This is a brownish um, blush. It might look a little bit scary in the box because it might look like a, a bronzer to you or something. And if, that's, if you're a light skin tone, maybe you can use this as a bronzer. It does have a little bit of shimmer in it, so it's not a complete flat matte blush. But I use this when I do a smoky eye, when I don't want too much on my face, I don't want too much blush going on. Uh, this is my go-to one. This one and Melba from MAC. I use those all the time whenever I don't want too much blush going on. And to me, this is just a perfect nudie brown with like a orange undertone. It just looks amazing. Like, I am so happy I got this. When I had first got it, I was obsessed. No matter what makeup I wore, no matter what lipstick I wore, I wore this blush. That's what it looks like right here. And then here's the swatch of it. As you can see, it's just like a perfect brown with like an orange undertone that'll just go perfect on a million and one skin tones. This is just an amazing blush for when you really don't want much makeup on and this you just want to get a little bit of color into your face. This is a blush to go to. So definitely recommend Dallas from Benefit. 
Next one is one that I recently purchased. This is a Becca blush in Flower Child, and it is just amazing. It is one of the smoothest blushes I have ever felt in my life. I've, if you guys know what Becca powder um, products feel like, this pro this blush is no exception. It feels just as smooth, just as buttery. It is a dream to work with. It blends out amazing. This does have a little bit of shimmer. And I love it. I feel like it get, just gives the perfect glow to your skin. And, I mean, you can't get better than this one right now. Like, oh my gosh, it is amazing. Here it is. It's a type of baby pink with some orange and gold flecks of shimmer particles in it. But it is amazing. I don't use a highlight with this one either because I feel like it gives me the perfect sun kiss glow. And I feel like putting a highlight on top of this will just make me look like too glowy. So this one is just like Luminoso. I don't put any type of shimmer whatsoever. This one, you don't need anything else but this blush on your face and you will look amazing. I love this blush. I am literally obsessed with it right now. Obsessed. So that is once again Flower Child from Becca. You can see I'm really into the uh, baby pinks, more of an orange undertone on all of my blushes right now because I feel like that is just a perfect um, springtime look. I have been going more for like the bronzy oranges, a little bit of pinks here and there. Bright, vibrant colors is what I've been going for. So I feel like these blushes go with all of that amazingly. Last blush that I want to go ahead and talk about is Love Cloud. Love Cloud was a... Um, limited edition blush but now they have made it permanent you can get it in the pan or you can get it in a little pot at your local mac store i believe they're at the mac stores um as of now it is just amazing i love it go ahead and show you a swatch of love cloud it is just a perfect baby pink very 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 light shimmer i believe this is a satin finish it doesn't have the finish on the back of the blush but it's definitely not a matte it does have a little bit of glow to it um you would definitely need a highlight on top of this if that's something that you want to give you that sun-kissed glow. This doesn't have it completely in it like the other blushes. Um, but this is just a perfect baby pink for all skin tones. I mean, it is just amazing. There's it right there. And then swatched is it right here. So you can see it's like the perfect baby pink. Perfect pink for the summer, spring, to just liven up your face with like a neutral look, smoky eye, this would even go amazing with it. So I really, really love Love Cloud. And when you blend it out, it just looks even better. Like this is just an amazing color. All these blushes to me are amazing. Like I said, this will go on every type of skin tone. If you have a darker or lighter complexion, I feel like the blushes that I chose would just go perfect on a lot of people. It'll just give you that perfect sun-kissed glow, which everybody is wanting this spring slash summer, which obviously I wanted as well. Um, but yeah, so that's what I focus more towards is the sun-kissed glow. So yeah. So hopefully you guys enjoyed all of the blushes that I have for you guys. So once again, thank you guys so much for watching. Until then, I will talk to you guys next time. Bye.